I'm Ruchika from Clever Tap, and I have with me Olga from SEM Rush. Um, yeah, hi, my name is Olga. I'm head of global marketing for SEM Rush. That means I oversee the global marketing efforts and also PR um, to ensure that our brand um, is known worldwide and more and more audience um, recognizes the Fireball logo and then goes to our website. Great. So how exactly did this journey start for you and how it's been so far? Um, so that's not my first job. I started, um, well, I would say 11 years ago and then I'm with the SEM Rush for six. So it's still a big chunk of my career. And um, I, when I was thinking of the first job, I was thinking that um, what do I want to do daily? And that was for me, and then I want to be not a na native speaker. So I wanted to speak English, I want to talk to people, I wanted to travel. So industry didn't matter. And um, basically anything apart from those three didn't matter. And then I think that's, that's I think, also a great takeaway for the audience, because always I always looked at the daily tasks that I had because it's the things that you do daily that motivate you to do that tomorrow. It's not the industry. So whenever I interview people and then they say I want to work in tech, then I think it's basically just I would not hire that person because then they have no idea. They just go with the flow, but they have no idea when, what exactly yeah, they yes, want to do. Yes, yeah, yeah. Got it, got it. Uh, any other highlights or learning that you would want to share from your journey? Um, so when um, when I was 21, that's that was when I came up with the idea of recording a movie for my friend and show. I showed the movie uh, within a month in a cin cinema, and that was a, like a hardcore project that I didn't do for work. But what I learned from it, it was that um, I ca I can come up with a crazy creative ideas. I am able to lead the team and they follow me and then also success. If I achieve something on my own, would never be as great as I achieve it as part of the team. So those are, uh, again, there were something that I learned not in a professional space, but those three takeaways I took well, to the same to this day. So we're, we're now in Bangalore in our conference. That was like, that came, well, in this crazy head, and then I would not be able to do this alone. That was done by my team, which transformed it in their own uh, way. And um, so the success as we enjoy it is something that, yeah, we'll, we'll always share together. So that's what I've been taking and that would definitely take in years and years to come. So being in the tech industry, yeah. uh, how do you keep yourself updated? Like the entire marketing landscape keeps evolving. How do you ensure that you stay ahead of the curve? Um, so marketing to marketing professional is hard because of being um, the lead of the market. So I follow the Google News, I follow the um, platforms and then their announcements and also um, I use Facebook for keeping up to date, so I have a list of people that I just tag, well, labeled C first, and those are the thought leaders that share the news instantly, and then I check Facebook a couple of times at least per day, so I know all the industry news and it, immediately the discussions underneath the post. So I don't really use any blogs, I use social media and the chatter um, that comes from opinion leaders. Got it. So any of these thought leaders, uh, are any of them your mentors, like your superwoman? Um, Mel Robbins, um, so that's the author and then she um, has books Five Second Rule and Take Control of Your Life where she just she's just a mentor and that it's more of getting things done or it's it's yeah it's personal growth and leadership and also the other one is Rachel Hollis um, also a really really great author um, and she um, really motivates women to own the stories and then to get out there and then she is a really great representation of how you can live the dream and get have it all so i would say that the, the women that inspire me are not specifically in the marketing marketing space but they are kind of personal growth and development people wow that's really interesting so i'm going to close this by asking you if you have any thoughts or tips for uh, next generation marketing leaders or aspiring leaders 
So we live in a really difficult time where um, we want everything in an instant and then people who go out of the universities or school who want to uh, start mar well, doing marketing, they struggle with the feeling that they want to make an impact and they want to make it tomorrow. And um, so I just want to ask them to be patient and then take it slow because you still or well, you still need the amount of hours to get the experience and then you need you just it, it won't happen tomorrow but it will happen someday if you put in the work and um, you definitely will be there if you are committed so that that is my advice that's a really cool tip <laughs> okay thank you so much Olga for participating thank you so much